Morning friends, Russell here coming to you from the shop. Um, got an interesting subject I want to talk about today. Um, I watched a scrolling YouTube. I saw this video about a guy doing an engine swap in his uh, Jeep YJ um, and they were discussing the reasons why they were doing it. Had to do and, and the mechanic that was working with the guy said, you know, we're doing this because of oil blow by problems. Um, and after watching the video and hearing his description, I realized he's kind of full of it. So I want to discuss why without further investigation of their problem, he was full of it. Um, his symptoms were simply this, um, was getting a lot of oil blow by or, or oil into the air filter housing. And the mechanic said that it was because of oil blow by from the piston rings. So, and the key to me was when he said PCV, um, which stands for positive crankcase ventilation, which is what most modern cars today have. Jeeps, specifically Jeep 2.5, 4.2, and 4.0 engines, never had a PCV system. They have what's called a CCV, which stands for continuous crankcase ventilation. It was pioneered by Jeep back in the military days because the engines had to be able to operate underwater. So it was a completely closed system. And they were the, one of the first manufacturers to ever do it. So let's talk about the CCV system in Jeep engines and how they work. Um, for starters, if you've got a Jeep 4.0, or 4.2, you know there are two ports on top of the valve cover. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show them to you. You've got two ports, front and rear, on the valve cover. Now, the front port would connect to your air hose or your air filter box or whatever. And the back port connects to the intake manifold. And um, this is what the back port looks like. It's a metered orifice, which means as long as the engine's running and pulling vacuum, it's pulling a little bit of air draw here. And what that air draw does is create a vacuum in the top of the valve cover, which then pulls fresh air from the air box or the air intake tube into the valve cover and circulate that, that gas out and burn it out. So if you're getting substantial amounts of oil blow by out this way into the air box, most of the time it's this orifice has clogged up and needs to be replaced. This is an item on these motors that people forget about and they're, and they're not easy to replace by the time we think about it because this rubber grommet front and rear petrifies and has to be cut out. And if you've seen some of my previous videos where I'm cutting these things out to replace them. So just a quick little gotcha video, if you will, on just a quick little gotcha video, if you will. So yeah, if, if you're getting a lot of oil um, into your air tube, um, onto your air filter, the first thing you got to check is, is this metered orifice at the back of the valve cover um, and make sure that it's number one that the rubber because it's a rubber hose with a plastic tube to a rubber hose make sure the rubber hasn't degraded make sure you're still pulling good vacuum and that that orifice is clean um, that's probably something that should be replaced every 30,000 miles and it doesn't get replaced um, these are relatively cheap the o-rings are relatively cheap it's not a hard job to do. It's just a little bit difficult because they get petrified because of the heat. That's the first thing you got to check. Um, almost identical on the 2.5, um, but not. The 2.5 liter four cylinder only has one port on the top of the valve cover. And it's at the back. Um, I've actually got a valve cover over there and I'll, I'll show it to you real quick. But So it's got a port on the back of the valve cover for the fresh air and then on the front portion of the valve cover on the side it's got a metered orifice which does the same thing this does 
but it screws into the side of the valve cover. And I, I'll, I'll show you where that goes here real quick. So here we've got a Jeep 2.5 valve cover and you can see we've got the, uh, the fresh air tube on the back side and on the front side, you can see right there, threads in the metered orifice. Um, and the same thing, it's gotta be clean and free flowing. And what that allows, that metered orifice allows is for a steady stream of low pressure, because by the time it expands, low pressure air to draft through the valve cover and help uh, clean out those uh, oil burn off gases. Now that's not to say that if you have a lot of oil in the air tube that you don't have other problems going on in the engine. But the first thing you should always check is this metered orifice and those tubes and make sure because they're part of your emission system. That's the first thing you check. Um, further on in that gentleman's video, when the valve cover came off and y'all have seen me moan about this, the oil hadn't been changed properly in a long time or for a long time. There was massive amounts of oil coking around the valve springs. So there were other things going on in that engine. Um, but a prime example, the 2.5 in this Jeep that we've taken apart, when I pulled the valve cover off, um, the valve train was clean. And I can show you. The valve train was clean, no coking on it. And this engine has over 200,000 miles on it. So it's not the mileage, it's how well you take care of it. But if you're getting a lot of oil in the, in the, into the intake track from the valve cover, that means it's pressurized and not drawing. It means you got to check this orifice and make sure it's clear. Um, that's all I got for today. Just wanted to shoot a quick video. It's one of those, it's one of those I watched a guy on YouTube and I'm just like, it's not right. He's not right. Um, yes. There may be ring problems in that motor, but that's not what's causing this. Um, anyway, if you like this content, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon for future notifications. And as always, there's more to follow.